Are you making these mistakes? I'm Melissa Dazette, the six-figure acupuncturist, and I went from broke and struggling and almost giving up in my practice to six-figure year after year after year. And now I have helped a ton of acupuncturists all around the world with the success of their practices too. Today I'm gonna to talk about the five most common business mistakes that I see acupuncturists make that hurt the success of their practice. And I know all about these mistakes because I made them all in the very beginning of my practice too. So now I'm gonna teach you about them so you don't have to make the same mistakes in your practice. Mistake number one. The worst mistake ever, ever, ever is giving discounts. When you give discounts to your treatments, you're attracting a type of clientele that only wants a discount. It will be practically impossible to get them to pay for your full price ever. And so you'll be giving treatments for discounted prices, which unfortunately just generally leads to practitioner burnout. Mistake number two not knowing how to speak to potential patients. Now this is really common. A lot of us get tongue tied, but when you don't know how to talk to your potential patients, then you're missing out on tons and tons and tons of new patients in your practice. Mistake number three is not knowing how to speak to your current patients. When you don't know how to explain the treatment plan to them, or answer their questions, then they wind up not coming back in for their follow-up treatments, which not only doesn't help your patients get better, but then it also hurts your credibility because your patients don't understand why they aren't getting better. So they think that acupuncture doesn't work and they think that you're a bad practitioner. Not good. Mistake number four is spending money on marketing. When you scrape together your already low funds to pay for some marketing, not only does this cause stress, but it makes you really desperate to get patients because you're so desperate for money. And patients can smell this a mile away, which unfortunately just repels them. There are so many ways to market that cost nothing. Zip, zero, zilch. Mistake number five is isolation. Isolating yourself and trying to figure this all out on your own can cost you years of wasting your time, wasting your money, and even quite possibly giving up on your dreams to be an acupuncturist. Don't isolate yourself. I'm Melissa, the Six Figure Acupuncturist, and if you like this video, give it a like, give it a heart, leave me a comment and share this with your acupuncture buddies. We're working on creating community here. And if you need help with the success of your practice and you need help figuring out what to do so that you don't do these five mistakes that I did, then go to sixfigureacupuncturist.com and sign up for my email list where you'll receive regular tips and tricks for how to create your dream acupuncture practice. I'm on a mission to mainstream Eastern medicine and heal the world with acupuncture and love by helping you build a successful practice. Keep healing.